Classic WoW Hardcore is almost here. Well, unless you're watching this later, then it's probably already here. But I am very excited to play. Fresh servers in general are always a super fun time for me. I'm just hoping there isn't terrible login queues, honestly, because, man, that was really bad during Wrath launch and during regular Classic launch. But in the meantime, I needed something to do. So just for the meme, I wanted to try out Retail Hardcore before the Classic servers would go up is because I wanted to see how hard it would be. Now, yes, I guess I did lie a little bit in the title. We're actually going to be trying out the Iron Man Hardcore Challenge, not just regular Hardcore. Because, well, I remember watching the Iron Man Challenge a lot back in the day and like Warlords of Draenor. Tons of YouTubers were doing it because back then there was just nothing to do in the game. Now, in the modern game, there isn't as many people doing this challenge anymore because, well, there's actually things to do in Retail WoW now. And there's also Classic, so people just play that instead. But the game has changed a hell of a lot since Warlords of Draenor and the early game especially with Scar scaling and time walking campaigns, allied races. There's just so many things that have made it so different than what it used to be. So I wanted to check it out how it is now. And I'm going to give some credit to Savix as well, because seeing him do the challenge also encouraged me to want to do it more too. Now, if you want to see the full rules for yourself, as well as the other challenges, I'm going to leave a link down to the site below so you can check out everything. But I'm just going to shortly explain here. So pretty much, you know, uh, don't die. You only have one life. There's no grouping, no trading, anything like that. You got to do everything solo. But the part that really makes the Iron Man challenge actually hard is that you can only use white or gray quality gear. No greens, no blues, definitely no purples. So now that we know what's going on, we can get started. And my first character, well, I'm gonna go with my classic orc warrior. And that's why I plan to play on classic hardcore first, so why not try it here on retail? And the first thing I noticed is that these starting zones in retail, every single mob is yellow. Even the demons in the cave, the mini bosses, there's not a single hostile enemy in the starting zone. What the hell is this blizzard. But as you could probably guess, the starting zone, it was a complete joke. So I just beat all of Duratar and I hit level 10 and I was ready to go, but I had to give a stop by my old pal Fizzle who used to kill me all the time. Poor guy's drowned nowadays. And when I finished Duratar, I was going to go to the Barrens, but then I forgot that there's time walking now. So I at least wanted to try out one of the time walking campaigns. So I went to my girl Chromie. And at first I picked the Burning Crusade only because I wanted to go back to Nagrand in Quest because that's one of my favorite zones. But I found out that you can't go straight to Nagrand, so I decided never mind and I didn't want to do Burning Crusade. So I went back to Chromie, I changed my mind, and I went with Warlords of Draenor, the prettier version of that planet. And I know everyone thinks, oh, Warlords of Draenor, gross, but Wad genuinely had some of the best questing in the game. And I hadn't done it in years, so I wanted a refresh of it. So I started the attack on the Dark Portal quest line, and everything was going good. Mobs were dying easily. I had no problems. Well, at first. Because then we ended up in an enemy fortress fighting our way out. And I had no problems until we got to the final boss room of that place. And this guy, as soon as I hit him, I knew he was going to be tougher than the rest because he was taking way less damage and doing way more to me. He was tougher than any enemy yet, and he did this massive move that, I'll be honest, I froze and I thought I was dead for a second there. He got me down to 1 HP, but then Cadgar saved me. And since Cadgar saved me, for some reason I thought that was part of a fight, so whenever I went to fight him again, I didn't get scared when my health started dropping because I thought Cadgar would save me again, but he didn't save me again, and I was dead now. <laughs> Uh, this is a skill issue on my end. I totally probably could have interrupted the ability, but I just didn't. I, I don't know, it slipped my mind. It's a skill issue. I was bad, and my first character was dead. But I wasn't going to give up after just one try, so we go again. And for my second character, I made a human paladin. And I chose Paladin because they just have a bunch of safety nets, like self-healing, they got bubble, lay on hands. But I did say I would not do bubble hearth because that's still kind of like a cheat code. And I started in Elwyn Forest, obviously, and some guy kept trying to give me bags, man. It, like, it's nice and all, you know, you were trying to help out and give me bags. But hey, I'm trying to do a challenge. Like, leave me alone, man. Like, you should have stopped after the first time I declined. But I did quests in Elwyn, Westfall, and Redbridge until I hit level 15. And then I wanted to go where a paladin must go. I headed to the Eastern Plaguelands to fight the Scourge. And I did all the starting quests, riding the caravan to each tower before eventually making it to Light's Hope, the big questing hub. And there was even this gargoyle rare that nearly killed me. I was actually scared. But this place was definitely a step up in difficulty from the low level starting zones. Tears Hand specifically, that place was packed with enemies inside of buildings. So it was a little scary, but I did make it out. And I did make it out of Tears Hand, but unfortunately I did not make it out 
out of the plague lands with my life. While fighting some undeads for a quest, I had two enemy assassins just jump out of nowhere, making it four enemies now that I was fighting. And I was doing okay at first, you know, I used my lay on hands, so I wasn't able to bubble now, but I was killing these guys and I was healing myself in the process. And when I got a little low and went to heal, of course, they wholly locked me, so I could not heal. And in my attempt to run away, I fell. Two characters down, and I, you know, I... This one hurt a little more. And since I died as a human in the Plague Lands, it only felt right for my next character to be reborn as an undead. But I, I picked a hunter because I couldn't be paladin, and you know, hunter's easy, right? And since I was already a hunter, I wanted to try to play it even extra safe. So I just stayed to the undead starting zones. I kind of just did them in order. I did Tears Fall Glades with no problems. I did Silver Pied Forest with no problems. And I got to Hillsbrad Foothills. They let me be a quest giver for a second. I even gave a quest to this guy named Dumbass. But once I started questing in Hillsbrad, well, I became the dumbass myself. I was just fighting a couple of dwarves when all of a sudden I turned my back and these two wargans hyperspawn out of nowhere and they jumped me so fast, okay? I'll admit it was a skill issue because I could have turtled, I could have feigned death, but these guys came out of nowhere and I just tried to run and it killed me. So I'll admit it was a skill issue, but those hyperspawns, man, like, come on, that's crazy. I was three characters down, but I wasn't ready to give up just yet. So I made a few more characters and I died on a few more characters, but then I decided to finally go with the class that I know best and I personally have the best instincts for, and that's a Death Knight. So over the weekend, I kind of just sat in my dungeon and leveled my character, playing it safe, only doing vanilla zones all the way until I got to level 60. Because getting to 60 was my real goal here, because I wanted to see how hard the Dragon Isles would be on Iron Man mode. And I had all my shitty gear together and I was ready to take on the Dragon Isles. And let me tell you, the Dragon Isles were immediately a huge step up in challenge. Even on the very first quest there, I made the mistake of trying to fight more than one enemy and it almost cost me my life. You have to be super careful on what you pull and you have to use almost all your DPS cooldowns on every enemy. I only really saved my army of dead as a last resort because it's got a big cooldown. And after I got to the first town, I found out that you can do the Dragon Isle zones in whatever order you want to on alts. So I was pretty happy about that. I picked to go to O'Haran Plains just because I really like the look of the zone. But the first quest when you get there is to go up and fight a big elite dragon. So I was kind of scared and I ran away with my tail between my legs. But I did also notice that on alts, you can do world quests right away. So I went and did a bunch of non-combat world quests like the raft catalog where you take pictures and dragon races, but I kind of felt like a pussy doing that. And if I was going to die on that dragon, then so be it. So I flew back to him. I summoned my army of the dead and I sent them on the attack. And yeah, we just killed the dragon. I never had any aggro of him, so it wasn't a big deal at all. I was scared for nothing. I kept questing in the zone, trying to do most of the side quests so that I wouldn't have to be scared. And then I started traveling with the centaurs to get to the big central town. And at one point we stopped because they wanted to, you know, eat. So they needed me to hunt some animals down for them. So the first animal I see is this rhino. So I went to attack the rhino and there was my biggest regret because this rhino hit like a truck and I was scared. So I used all my cooldowns. I tried everything. I even tried having him slowed and attacking him from afar, but then he charged me and I died in one hit from that charge. And that was it. That was where I died. And that was where my story ends. So in conclusion, uh, yeah, I personally believe that the Iron Man challenge is harder than classic hardcore, but I'm sure if I tried, you know, a quote retail hardcore where there's no gear quality restrictions i'm pretty certain i could get to level 70 first try i don't feel like i need to prove it but if people really want me to come back and try retail hardcore again let me know down in the comments below i'm down to try it out for another video one day but for now i am ready for classic hardcore servers to come out and i hope you all are too i hope we all have a good time and that we don't look back at this video in a year and think damn classic hardcore really sucked but hey if you made it to the end of this video if you could, you know, drop a like if you enjoyed. Also, if you could go and follow me on Twitch, I want to start streaming soon. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Hardcore. Peace.